Hello everyone and thank you for joining us for our TAPE webinar at 11.12 today. Uh, we have a number of people still signing in. Uh, we've had a large number of people sign up, so obviously this is a hot topic. So we're just going to wait for about 30 more seconds for uh, people to join in. I'm Sue Willie, the Sales and Marketing Director for New Readers Press, and Karen Welch, our Assistant Sales Director in Southeast Regional Sales Consultant, is going to be conducting today's presentation. So just a little bit of housekeeping, because we have so many people on the line, everyone will be muted. So if you have any questions, uh, please put them in either the question box or the chat box on your computer screen. And we will make sure to stop a couple of times during the presentation to answer any questions that you might have. So I think that is it for now. Uh, we don't want to get started too late. So uh, let's get started. And Karen, it's all yours. Great. Thanks, Sue. Good afternoon and welcome to Score Boost for TABE 11 and 12, a resource for success. I am your host, Karen Welch, and today we are going to discuss some of the changes to TABE 11 and 12 and what you can do to be TABE ready. The objectives for today's webinar are to provide information on the new TABE 11 and 12 and where you can find it, to introduce you to the score boost for TABE workbooks, including specific features that make it a unique resource, to inform you of new materials we are working on and will release next year, and finally, we'll take some questions. So first, let's start with a quick poll question. And the question is, when do you plan to transition to TABE 11 and 12? So if you would just select one of those choices from below. First one is we've already transitioned January 2019, spring of 2019, end of the fiscal year, meaning June to July of 2019, or you are not sure. Okay, we'll give you about 10 more seconds and then we'll uh, close the poll, but it sure looks like a number of folks have already transitioned or are very close, but we'll see what happens when we close the poll. Yeah, so it looks like a good 37% of you have already transitioned and the remainder um, are going to be transitioning sometime early next year or at the end of your fiscal. So this timeline illustrates the path adult education took to get where we are now. With the implementation of Common Core in K-12 and eventually college and career readiness standards that shifted the GED and other HSE tests in adult education, we are now experiencing yet another change with TABE 11 and 12. So regardless as to when you plan to make the transition, hopefully all of you have begun to get ready for Table 11 and 12 because like it or not, it's coming. And to help you prepare for these changes, we suggest you visit and familiarize yourself with the information about Table 11 and 12 listed on the tabetest.com website. The site offers a variety of material about the test and how these changes may impact your instruction going forward. And the link which is also listed at the top of this page is T-A-B-E T-E-S-T dot C-O-M. One of the most useful sections on the TABE site and one that requires close examination are the TABE blueprints. The blueprints provide the architecture of the test at each level. If you haven't seen these, they are a great starting point for lesson and test preparation, as well as understanding how the college and career readiness standards are conjoined with the TABE standards. Questions related to the test or to the administration of the test should be directed to DRC or your DRC representative. To get ready for the Table 11 and 12, you need to be familiar with the College and Career Readiness Standards, and I'm sure many of you already have a good understanding of these standards and how to teach them. You'll also need to understand what's new on Table 11 and 12 
both from the structure of the test as well as the skills that are being tested. And we'll review some of these items today. And finally, review materials like Scoreboost for TABE and determine how it can fit your instructional plan. We'll talk about these features in TABE and in greater detail in just a few minutes. To understand TABE 11 and 12 better, let's take a look at where the changes are focused. The TABE test now consists of three sections, one two-part reading test, one language test, and a two-part math test. There's also a new locator test that is longer but considered to be a better predictor. Since the TABE is aligned to college and career readiness standards, it can now be used to prepare for all three tests, the GED, TASC, and the HiSET. And students may now use a basic calculator on the level M test and a scientific calculator on levels D and A math test. We're, uh, yeah, sorry, if you want to go uh, forward one, Jen. We're back on um, slide 10. For those who are using or have used the same calculator on one of the HSC tests, this means students can gain additional practice using the same calculator on table 11 and 12 that they'll use on their HSC tests. As a part of your planning and to better connect your learners with what's on TABE, let's now take a brief look at a summary of the changes by content area, beginning with the reading section. As a result of the College and Career Readiness Standards, the TABE 11 and 12 reading test has changed in critical ways. The emphasis for this test section is on reading rigor and complexity. This includes cognitive demand and a move towards the application of ideas and skills as students move to higher levels. Two-part questions designed to assess whether students can make evidence-based conclusions will begin on the E-level section and will appear with greater frequency as students move up levels. Students will read a variety of tests, types of text across a number of disciplines, including technical, scientific, social studies, and literary texts. These texts are more informational in nature and include mature topics that reflect life and work situations. The length of the reading passages is also increased and as such means test takers will encounter more sophisticated vocabulary and sentence structures designed to allow students to demonstrate any independent reading skills they may already possess. Lastly, the reading material reflects common formats that students may see outside of school in a work situation like multiple step procedures or directions. Skill development for the reading section promotes understanding meaning in text and making connections, connecting ideas and providing evidence-based support and analysis, analyzing various types of text structures, identifying main ideas, supporting details, and author's point of view and context, as well as others. For levels E through A, there are key reporting areas on the test. For the reading section, the following areas are part of all levels L through A. These include key ideas and details, craft and structure, integration of knowledge, and ideas and informational text. Be sure to consult the blueprint for each level and for more information and a deeper breakdown of the content. The language section of the TABE now works to build communication skills that are used on the job and in daily life. These skills are intended to cross over into communicating clearly when writing and in building skills associated with the writing process and promoting the application of clear writing in daily life. Skill development for language section promotes the use and understanding of tier two and three vocabulary words, pronoun use, using parts of speech correctly, writing using correct grammar and punctuation, as well as others. The three reporting objectives cover levels E through A and include conventions of standard English, vocabulary acquisition and use, text types and purpose. And again, be sure to consult the blueprint for each level for more information and a deeper breakdown of the content. Lastly, for math sections, the test reflects context appropriate for adults. The focus is on application of math skills as they relate to routine tasks like estimating, making computations, involving time, distance, and weight. 
Students will be expected to apply these skills to a variety of problem sets, making connections and contacts that adult learners will see in work and life. The focus for math levels E and M is on number operations with a particular focus on fractions, along with operations in algebraic thinking as students move through higher levels. Key reporting objectives at levels E through A include geometry and standards for mathematical practice. So it's important to begin teaching these concepts early and reinforcing them at each level. As students move to higher levels D and A, there's a greater emphasis on ratios and proportional relationships, statistics and probability, functions, and algebra. So let's check to see if there are any questions. Okay, right now the only question that I've been having is if they would get a copy of the PowerPoint and the answer is yes. Anyone who's attending today or who signed up and couldn't attend uh, within the next two days will receive both the PowerPoint and a recording to the webinar. And other than that, there really weren't any group questions, um, a few people just we're wondering how to communicate and again just type your questions in the uh, question or chat area but other than that um, I don't have anything else so I guess we can go on to the next poll question all right super oh wait a minute one question here can the calculator be used for the whole test That's a good question, and I'm not quite sure. I don't know if there are other problems that are going to be integrated into the science and social studies. Um, as far as I know, it's definitely you can definitely use it on the math sections, but only part two of the math sections for each of the test levels. That was MCA. probably yeah. That was probably it. And then another question is they've just started coming in now. What is the meaning of double count? That would be a question for DRC. Okay, and then um, someone just basically made a comment that they were concerned about the length of the reading passages for ESL students. Um, and another, someone answered the calculator question, so thank you, Kathy. Um, you can't use the calculator for TABE level E. So it sounds like you can for the other levels of math. Yes, M, M, D, and A. All right, okay. so let's uh, go on to our poll question, and we kind of want to understand what's important to you. So with this question in mind, which of the following features is most important to you when selecting TABE 11 and 12? And we'd like for you just to select one from the list below. So it's alignment to the TABE test, correlations to the TABE test, affordability, guided practice, or TABE practice questions. Okay, we'll give about 10 more seconds. Okay. So it looks like alignment to the TABE test and TABE practice questions, um, as well as correlations to the TABE, are some of your top choices. Well, that is great information. We really appreciate you taking the time to answer that question. And we created the score boost for TABE with many of these features in mind. So now that you have a little bit more information on TABE 11 and 12, I'd like to introduce you to our latest series called score boost for TABE 11 and 12. For those of you familiar with our score boost series, score boost for TABE 11 and 12 is similar in design with an easy to use format, but also includes some key differences. Here is a rundown of the curriculum framework behind the score boost design, and in a minute we'll look at some of these features in greater detail. All of the content is delivered in an easy to use format and follows uh, and the format is aligned to college and career readiness and TABE 11 and 12 standards. The series is brand new, sole source, and freshly with freshly written content created especially for New Readers Press and reviewed by our editorial team. 
Like other score boost formats, each unit covers a specific strategy followed by guided practice, independent practice, and tape style questions. So students are exposed to a wide variety of questions related to the strategy before moving on to the next lesson. Units end with a review of the strategies and include a self-administered student action plan so learners can identify skill gaps before taking the test or moving on. All the workbooks include a TABE practice test at the end of the workbook, consisting of approximately 20 to 40 additional questions that mimic what students will see on the TABE test. Finally, answer explanations are provided in the back of the book so students can independently work through the questions. And they are all designed to help you achieve measurable skill gains for your learners. Levels M and D are currently available. That includes all of the math workbooks for level D. I know we were on a hold for that, but they came into the warehouse this week. So let's take a closer look at these two levels in general with a focus on the features. For TABE level M, we created one reading workbook, one language workbook, and divided the math into three sections. The math workbooks are designed to progress your student through specific math domains a section at a time, and they are framed around key domain targets for this level, consisting of numbers and operation, measurement data and geometry, and algebraic thinking. For level D, we created one reading workbook, one language workbook, and four math workbooks. Like Level M, the Level D workbooks progress students through key targeted domains to maximize the student's time and help them focus and progress through the skills. The math workbooks for Level D consist of number systems and functions, ratios and proportional relationships, geometry measurement and data, and statistics and probability. We are on schedule to deliver the full and complete TABE 11 and 12 series by early 2019. In mid-January, we will release five workbooks for TABE Level E and five workbooks for TABE Level A. Both levels will consist of one reading, one language, and three math workbooks. The format for these levels will look identical to levels M and D with skill practice appropriate for each respective level. So now let's take a deeper look at the design and the curriculum framework associated with Scoreboost for the TABE, and then we'll discuss some of the features. The framework for each workbook begins with the TABE blueprint for that level. We then looked at the standard as it was being applied and took into consideration any substandards and the emphasis level noted on the blueprints. You'll see here that the emphasis level circled is high. Through a thoughtful process, we selected specific college and career readiness standards from the TABE blueprints and used those to form each lesson's strategy. As an example, in our Level D Book 2 for math, entitled Ratios and Proportional Relationships, Unit 2, Strategy 10, focuses on solving two-step equations. This lesson is framed around the college and career readiness standard that states, quote, use variables to represent quantities in the real world or mathematical problem and construct simple equations, and the TABE domain found under expressions and equations, which says, quote, evaluate ex equations and inequalities. Scoreboost workbooks contain many practical features to help your students understand and build their skills, so let me introduce you to some of these features. We all know how important vocabulary is in understanding the written word, and in designing Scoreboost for TABE, we made a concerted effort to introduce students to these vocabulary words they'll encounter in the course of the lesson and that connect to the strategy. These vocabulary words are highlighted and defined in context. This is an example from our Level M language workbook. Once the vocabulary is introduced and reviewed, we move to guided practice. Guided practice allows learners the practice they need to become familiar with new concepts and skills before they try them on their own. It's also essential so struggling learners can move towards functioning skills, like thinking about concepts in a flexible way. By beginning the lesson with a specific example, followed by targeted practice, Learners can get acquainted with the skill and engaged in practicing it right away. Think prompts encourage students to connect the skill to the practice and, in turn, develop confidence. They serve to make the lesson come alive and activate critical thinking skills. 
Independent practice follows the guided practice so students can practice the skill on their own, reinforcing it. From there, students will see TABE style questions. These are modeled on the TABE test questions and help build test taking confidence, allowing skill building to flourish. For levels M and D, there are at least two to four unit reviews per workbook that include 10 to 20 plus questions per unit. This ensures that students are given plenty of review and practice and that they are on the path to success. Each book ends with a TAE practice test consisting of approximately 20 to 40 test questions depending on the subject in the workbook. TAE style questions provide test practice to build skills and confidence prior to test time. Strategically placed test tips embedded in this section help students think about their responses and can boost their recall on test day. One additional feature are workplace connections. These are scattered throughout the content and challenge students to apply the newly learned skill to their own real world situations, which helps deepen the learning and engagement of critical thinking and problem solving skills. Score boost action plans are found in two places, at the end of each unit and again at the end of each workbook. These help students evaluate their skills, identify and target strengths and weaknesses, encourages progress, and refers students to key strategies so they can reinforce their skills before moving on. And like most of our books, in the back you'll find answers with clear explanations so students can feel confident if they missed a question, they'll know why. We now have correlations for both Table 11 and 12 and College and Career Readiness for Table 11 and 12. These can be found on our website at www newreaderspress.com. We've loaded the correlations for M and D and will follow with levels E and A once those release in mid-January. To find the correlations, click on the Table 11 and 12 tab, scroll down and look for Free Resources and Correlations tab under the level and click on You will need to visit each level to find the correlations and the content areas for reading, language, and math. Can you hit it one more time, Jen? And this is how it'll appear when you see it. Here are examples of correlations for TABE level M reading. Can you hit it one more time, Jen? This includes table, TABE level M and D reading and language. These are also loaded on the website. Our workbooks are affordably priced, and we offer flexible purchasing options to help you maximize your budget. Score Boost for TAPE can be purchased either in 10 packs by topic or in a variety pack by level, which includes one of each topic in the level. Pricing begins at $45.25 for 10 packs by topic and $22.80 for a variety pack. Prices for the variety packs will vary depending on the level and the number of workbooks in the level. All reasons to celebrate. See, let's take another pause for additional questions. Okay, I just have a couple. One was when will E&A levels be available, and that will be in January of 2019. Um, a few of them have already gone to press, so we are on track for that to happen. And for those of you who ordered the uh, level D that just came in this week, they are all shipping out this week, just a little side note. And then someone wrote, is there a transition toolkit to align score boost to the standard? So we don't really have a toolkit, but um, as Karen just showed on our website, it, it shows all the alignment to the, uh, the tape standard and where you can find them in the lessons in the book. So I don't think um, there is no toolkit per se, but we definitely have aligned everything to the standards. Um, is any of the material in the new books carried over from older score boost books we might already have? Absolutely not. This material is all brand new and based on the TABE assessments. The other score boost books are based on the GED high set and task test. So we did work with a developer and everything was developed uh, fresh content. 
Um, what does DRC stand for? That stands for Data Recognition Corporation. And will there be e-techs available? So I'm assuming that means this workbook's in an e-book format. We don't have any plans right now to do that. Um, but I will certainly take that under consideration. Uh, can we access a copy of this PowerPoint? Yes, that will be sent out uh, within the next couple of days, both the PowerPoint and the recording of the session. And the last question says, are these consumables or can we copy? Uh, they are consumables. We really uh, discourage copying. And at the price that they're priced at, we do believe that they're pretty affordable. So let's see. How can I help ESL students with these resources? I know there is no Spanish version of Table 1112 available. What level would you recommend for ESL students who struggle with this assessment format? That would be a hard question for me to answer. I think they would have to take a low a uh, level tape assessment and see where they land and that should help guide you as to um, what level they might be at and what level you might want to start using. Karen, do you have anything to add to that? Yeah, I might just say too, uh, you might want to take a look at where they're falling with respect to the college and the career readiness standards and if, you know, they could be low in one area but high in another. So, for instance, low in the language but high in the math. So it could be that you could start some of these learners um, with respect to that content at a at a higher than higher level than you might originally expect. Uh, and I would I would take a look at those first as well. Um, I do believe that they're coming out with a class E test for ESL. I I'm not sure you might want to check with DRC on when and or if that's going to be developed before the end of this year and in use going into 2019 now. Okay, the next question, are there pre-tests and post-tests in each book? Um, there are no pre-tests. However, um, each book does end with a TABE practice test. The question is totally in line with my concerns. ESL students struggle with the time constraints more than the questions themselves. Yep, we totally understand the concerns. and something that we are hearing quite a bit of. Um, so we, we might want to think about, too, just maybe aligning some of these TAE books to the ELP standards for ease of use for those that are going to use it with their ESL students. Yep, we can put, um, yep, let me jot that down. We're going to move along. We just have a few more slides and then uh, we'll come back and answer any other questions that we might have. So let's see what's next, Jennifer. Okay, Karen, right. so we'll talk a little bit about some books we have coming up. Yeah, so coming next year, we plan to create comprehensive Table 11 and 12 materials that are going to release in the spring. These will consist of one book per content area across levels E through A. The books are going to focus more on instruction practice and assessment of concepts and skills, and we'd like to get your input on what should be included in the comprehensive series. So. Let's move on to our next poll question. And this poll question is, which features would you like to see in a comprehensive series? Uh, feel free to select all that apply. Deeper instruction, teacher guides, TABE specific practice, extra practice questions, or workplace application.
Okay, we'll just give everyone about five more seconds to answer. It looks like there's a lot of things important, but uh, practice, practice, practice seems to be the winner. <laughs> yes, it certainly does, Sue. Uh, looks like tape-specific practice is going to be a, a big one, and then your extra practice questions come in pretty close. So look for those more comprehensive type books um, in the spring. And finally, we know how important digital extensions are. So in the fall of 2019, we plan to use the comprehensive books we create to create online content for Table 11 and 12 that will include enhanced media, interactive content, and online question types. This will also include a full LMS component for diagnostics, reporting, and assessment of student progress. We're also going to offer purchasing flexibility so you can bundle the online series with either the comprehensive books, the score boost workbooks, or both to maximize your budgets. To wrap this up, and as an added thank you for attending today's session, we're offering you 10% off your purchase of score boost for the TABE through 12-31-18. That's the last day of the year. And as our way of thanking you for your participation, um, be sure to use the promo code noted here on this slide, which is T-A-B-W-E-B -E when placing your order. And be sure to alert your sales rep too, so we know to add that promo code to a quote if you go through your sales rep for that. Um, you can request a quote through your sales rep. If you look at uh, on page 62 of your fall 2018 catalog, you'll find your sales rep by state. You can also call our 1-800 number to place your order through customer service or use our order-friendly website, www.newreaderspress.com. And be sure to put the promo code in. Uh, it usually appears at the bottom of your order before you place your order to get that discount. Sue, so do you want to talk about our event in San Diego? Absolutely. Just a little reminder for those of you, um, New Readers Press is the publishing division of Pro Literacy. Um, and every other year, Pro Literacy sponsors a conference on adult education. And this year, it is in... San Diego, California at the end of September. So I'd like to invite everyone to go to our website and keep your eyes open and attend the conference. It's three days of very good professional development. So everyone's invited. Um, and I've got some more questions now. Um, so someone just wanted to verify, so there is not a prescriptive test in the books. That is correct. Um, we envision the adult student taking the TAVE assessment to then see where they might be placed and then working in the score boost workbooks. Uh, that said, as we start to work on our content books, it certainly could be something uh, that could be considered to add into those books to have a little more uh, value with those. Are there approximate grade levels assigned to each TABE level book? Yes, there are. Um, so the level E books are a grade reading level 2 to 3.9. Level M is a 4 to 5.9. Level D is a 6 to 8.9. And level A is a 9 to a 12th grade. So just, you know, for those of you reference, um, easy reference, the E actually stands for easy, M is medium, D is difficult, and A is advanced, which is how those uh, letters line up to the program. Um, hard to know what I would like to see in a comprehensive series when you haven't seen this one. That's fair enough. We were just looking for, um, make sure that we get in what people are looking for. Someone said, how would the comprehensive series be different from what we're talking about today? It would have more instruction in it, and it would also probably, based on the poll, which is why we were asking, uh, would have a lot more uh, practice questions as well. 
How do I get a catalog? You can go to our website, newreaderspress.com, and uh, request a catalog there. Or you can call our 800 number, 1-800-448-8878. Um, did I understand there will be an ELP online class for TABE? If you're talking English language proficiency, no, I think you might have misunderstood. I'm not sure um, what there, that is. There is going to be a TABE class E. Mm -hmm. I don't but, know. But, yeah, that's, it, it, that's, but that that's is not a, finalized. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that's a, that's a separate test that DRC is Correct. It will be a coming separate out with. test for English language proficiency. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Thank you. And then uh, we one, with one other thing low... too, yep. I was going to add on that um, for for the uh, to find out what level you're at, you might also want to go to the DRC website and look up the scale scores if you are going to go by scale score from the TABE, right. and then you can place people more efficiently in our series. Right. It'll show you how it aligns to NRS and and other. Um, and then, uh, last question, we work with very low literate. Do we have anything new for level L? We do not right now. Um, again, up for internal discussions, and we may have something down the road, but right now we do not. Um, Jennifer, I think one more slide. Was that it? Oh, no, there we go. More, yeah. If anyone wants to contact um, Karen or I, feel free to reach out for us. Yeah, so if if you do think of anything that you um, want to see in the next tape series that we're going to be working on, just, just shoot us an email. Do we have any other questions, Sue? Uh, what is the scale score for each level of the TABE score boost? You you can look at that chart right here in the chart on the DRC website. Yeah, there's a chart on the DRC website. So if you go under resources, there should be something that says scale score on there. And the scare, you can even scale score Google, has it broken down. Like, if you just Google TABE 1112 scale scores, I've gotten it that way too. It's it's pretty easy to find that chart. And it it's broken down by NRS level, grade level, and then the scale score range that's going to be used for for the TAVE itself. Okay, so that looks like it's it for questions. Thank you everyone for attending. We hope you learned something. You're interested in the product. We really do think it's a great product and um, instructors are really going to like it for their students. Uh, feel free to reach out to Karen and I, and by the end of the week, we'll send everyone both the PowerPoint and a link to the presentation itself. So thank, oh, I just wanted to make one more question here. I just want to make sure that the score boost matched DRC scale. Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay, that's it. Thank you, everybody, very much. Great. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. All righty. Bye. Bye. How many people?